Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm sharing a super cute card using one of the new released stamp sets by Simon Z Stamp. This is the Heart Animals, which is absolutely adorable. It comes with three different animals inside stitched hearts that you can stamp along with lots and lots of sentiments. These are from the Love You release that have just came out. If you like this stamp set, I think that you should move fast. It is my favorite from the whole release and I think this is going to sell out super quickly. Now, one idea on what you can do with that is um, do something similar as this card that I did uh, a week ago. You can have three little windows and have all those three animals popping through them. This is a slimline card and uh, of course there is a tie that matches the heart so you can cut out heart windows and have those animals pop through. Today I'm going to show you a completely different idea and I'm going to combine this stamp set with an embossing folder and this is the Splendid Leaves Circle Frame. I'm going to open it up so you can see. Inside you will find a lovely foliage detail and there is a circle as well. I like this kind of designs because they give you an area where you can stamp a sentiment or stick one and also where you can uh, nest your focal point. 3D embossing folders along with slimline cards are on trend lately and it is good to have on your stash a few versatile designs that you can use throughout the year. And this is one of them since it just gives you a very detailed foliage that is really pretty. You will see that in action later on. Now, of course, you can use a paper and run it through with your embossing folder. However, I'm going to show you another way on how you can use it. Since there is this circle, I looked through my stash and I found this circle die that fits the circle at the center of the design. So I'm going to cut out a panel with the circle at the center to create a little window. I decided to work on a craft cardstock. I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine and I will end up having a panel with a lovely window that I can now emboss. I am going to align the window with the circle at the center and you can hold it up if you need to. And then I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Now you have to play a little bit with your sandwich. So here I used my Big Shot, I got great results and the sandwich that I end up using was the embossing folder, a metal seam, a cardstock and the two main platforms. Now I zoomed in for you so you can probably see the beautiful design and the dimension that it gives you. To help this design pop even more I'm using a pigment ink in white and I'm going over the design very lightly. I'm not adding any pressure at all. Only the raised areas are going to pick up some of that white uh, ink. Now you can see the design better but it is still quite subtle for a background. And one of my favorite color combos when it comes to cards is craft, white and red. And that's what I'm going for today. Now also don't forget pigment ink takes a lot of time to dry so make sure to put this background aside to dry and let's work on the focal points. And now it's time to do some stamping. I have my Misty out and I decided to go with a heart that has the little dog inside. So adorable. And uh, since I'm doing the stamping, I will stamp the sentiment as well. I decided to use one of the panels from this banner stamp set that has come out a couple of months ago. This one is called Banner Greetings and it comes along with many banner designs and lots and lots of sentiments and I think it's one of those stamp sets that you can keep on using again and again. So anyway, I am stamping everything with black ink and then I'm also going to stamp the sentiment inside the banner. I went with the one that says Hugs and Kisses and I'm also going to use the plastic cover just temporarily over my Misty so that I can stick the sentiment on top and I can give it a, a curve. Following the curve of the banner, now I'm going to close the door of my Misty, pick up the sentiment and stamp it with black ink. Now I did use my alcohol markers to color the little dog and there are dies that match the banner greetings, however I don't have them in my stash so I'm just going to go the old fashioned way and I will cut out with my scissors the banner making sure that I leave a little border all around. For the heart animals there is a matching tie, however it is a heart, but I don't want to use the whole heart as it is in this design, I just want to separate the little dog. That's why again I'm going the old fashioned way and I'm going to fuzzy cut him leaving a little border all around. 
And now it's finally time to put everything together. I'm working on a white top folded card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have this dark chocolate cardstock which I'm going to stick at the center. This is going to be the background and that's what you will be able to see through the window. I used foam tape at the back of my panel and I'm going to pop it on top. I'm using my fingers to add some curve at the end of the panels and I'm going to place it temporarily on top of uh, my card so that I can pop behind the little dog. The dog also has foam squares at the back. I will secure down the banner and I absolutely love how the dog is popping behind the banner. Now I am going to embellish it a little bit more by adding a few of those red hearts and these are just hearts that I cut out with one of the new dies. It's the mini hearts party and uh, I have an idea on my mind on how I want to use it on a card. However, I'm going to keep it for another video. So for today, I just used the die to die cut um, hearts and it die cuts three different sizes, which I am going to use all of them here. Now the new Simon Says Stamp release is all about Valentine's Day. So if you want, you can stamp uh, I love you instead or a Valentine's Day sentiment. However, I don't send out Valentine's Day cards. That's why I went with uh, sending uh, hugs and kisses. Now I did add some uh, highlights on the hearts with my gel pen. And I'm also going to add uh, glossy accents on uh, the dog's nose as well as on the hearts. Glossy accents always looks a little bit uh, milky, but when it dries, it's completely clear and it's going to add a lovely shine on my project. I absolutely love how cute this card came out. I hope that you had fun today and that you got inspired. Just like always, you will find a list of all the projects that I used down below in the description area. Make sure to check out the new release. You will find lovely products. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.